Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm in Lowestoft. There's been a sighting here in this stock of an Ida. So I've come over to have a look to the location and he's flown away, gone elsewhere. But never mind, there were some lovely fishing boats to film. If you ever wondered why a turnstone is called a turnstone, you can now see exactly why. He turns over all the stones. The oyster catchers were busy putting their beaks into the, well, I suppose, mud flats there, isn't it? To try and see if there's any worms. Well, I think I filmed all there is to see here today. So let's go over to Ness Point, which is England's most easterly point, And there it is. When I'm on Galston Pier, I always film this wind turbine. So it's nice to be stood right beside it. It's actually pouring with rain, I'll have you know as well. Eventually the rain clouds ease, go away, and I can actually see boats now. It's very windy today, so as I always say, please forgive me if it's wobbly footage. I'm looking through some railings, so that's why he keeps in the bars go past. I'm staying in the car, you see, because of the rain. Down the side of the boat, it says Iceni or Iceni Marine Services. It looks like it's called Revenge. Next is a little fishing boat called Kellyanne. I think it's so much nicer being in the warmth of the car. I don't think I'd fare very well on that little boat going across those waves. I can't actually work out the name of this boat and I don't think I zoomed in and got it. But, um, I'll let you know in a bit if I find it. Actually, now it's closer, I can see that it's called Sea Cat Mischief. Look at the size of this one. It's enormous. And a large fishing trawler. I couldn't see any of these earlier when it was raining. It's just so many boats keep appearing from nowhere. It's far busier here than Great Yarmouth. So the red one's just about close enough now to be able to read it. But do you remember I said boats just seem to appear from nowhere? They Look at that green one. Where's that just come from? It must still be raining out at sea because they are hidden and then just suddenly they appear.
Well, I think this has been a lucky find today for me, discovering that the boats come in as close as they do. So, be warned. I will return to make further videos from here, perhaps on a day when it's not raining, though. But after this green one, I need to think about going home. Somebody asked in the comments, could they have vintage cars? So there's Herbie. Does that count? I've decided I'm going to show you my journey back to Acle from Lowestoft. And it's going to go at double the speed. So it'll look like I'm speeding, but I'm not. I spotted a couple of interesting things on the way home. So when I get to those, I'll slow the footage down so that you can see exactly what it was I saw. If you're enjoying today's video, perhaps you'd like to give it a thumbs up for me. I told you in my last video that I'd had several new subscribers. Well, I, I have again since that video. I've had about another 10, I think it is. So, hello to all of you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Also, thank you to the two people this week who have gifted through the super chat button. I have thanked them personally, but I'm not going to put people's names on here, disrespect their privacy. Three lovely camper vans at the traffic lights. I'm not actually a fan of driving. So when my friends see that I've actually driven myself to Lowestoft, I think they're going to be amazed. Well, it's the Ida. That's what it is. It just needs one of those to get me over there. 
drive anywhere for a little goose or a bird or a duck, especially when they've got pistachio coloured head and beak. They're very pretty. I'd put a photo up and show you if I had one, but I haven't, sadly. And I can't use other people's photos in here. That's not, that's not right. I also think when my friends and family see which way I've driven to come home, they'll probably laugh at that as well. There is a more direct route, but I much prefer to come this way. It's easier. I think it's actually the thought of it, the thought of driving somewhere I don't normally drive to. I think that's what I don't like. What lane am I going to be in? How much traffic is there going to be? Will there be any slip roads? I don't mind if there's lots of traffic. Because you go slowly then and you can look around and you can see where you're meant to be.
now I'm cutting through a housing estate instead of going on the, well, the Captain Road. Past the industrial estate because there's loads of traffic on there. I know I said I don't mind traffic, but not along there. So we're going through a housing estate instead. But if I didn't go this way, I wouldn't have spotted what is up ahead at what I refer to and call the Narrows. If you know the correct term for what I call the Narrows are, then perhaps you'd like to let me know in the comments. Just recently I've been to so many new places with the photography group, the birding group, who we all merge together now. But I think that's, they've given me the confidence to drive further. I've slowed the footage down and look out for the car on my side of the road, coming from the opposite direction. And there's the lorry look, trying to reverse out. Watching by the queue of traffic behind him, I think he's been stuck there a little while, but he's freed himself now. Now the traffic from here right down to the roundabout takes forever to get down there. So I'm just going to cut it out totally, okay? So that was so much easier for you, not having to wait. <laughs> I wish it was like that in reality for me.
So you want to be looking on the left hand side in the ditch. I'd just like to thank you all for watching and joining me along my journey today. Not my planned video, but hopefully it's turned out all right and you agree. Probably, you probably all enjoyed the ships more than the, and you would have done the bird even anyway. For a long time, my channel's been just purely the Norfolk Broads. All different aspects of everything you can find on the Norfolk Broads, but as I've now got to the stage that I've probably just about filmed everything there is to film of interest that I'm now filming more and more further afield and including well probably in time at least now I can include, include most of Norfolk and of course I've gone into Suffolk as well I'm simply trying to show you places that you might not know exist I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.